Rufus. I cast chaotic pain. So if I, I pay one life, okay. I build the top three cards on my deck. Okay. And I can get three. Whoa, what is this card? Why, why does Gratos have so many forms? They're all bad, he's a good card. Okay. So what do you call that deck? Uh, I call Chaos Devil Okay. And okay. okay. his skill, I get top three cards on my deck. Who's the best card in the deck? Take one card. And two to drop them. A set. Okay. And I call to the side. Uh, let me see what that dragon. Oh god. Oh god. So we'll top that to soul. Then oh, if I have execution ground, cut into Okay. Yeah. I call to the side. Uh, I just subject Belzegrad. What does he do? So he's effect, right? Uh, he call out his two gauge, then he effect. Uh, when he enters the field, I can look at. I can go to my deck and search for two, up to two black knights. Then one goes to my hand and the other goes to the drop zone. Oh. So you're gonna add the <coughs> back Gratos then? I add Gratos to my hand. Okay. And I put this to the drop zone. Okay, what, what's this? Oh, when he enters the soul of a deep, I can gain one life. Okay. Is Gratos a deep? Uh, yes. Oh, is the record there? Why do you put both your hand? Can you go cheat? I bind call in the center. Okay. <coughs> I put. Oh. So I put. Uh, so got. Uh, got us if I put five so uh, three so. Mm -hmm. And if it's my buddy, I can put two more. Is it your buddy? Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yes, obviously. Okay. Ah. The only card that you need to play as buddy. So I put five black nuts in the so. Okay. Okay. Next, I equip. Uh, Book of Good and Evil, Avesta. And I said, Invitation to Death Ground. Wow. Okay, Bell Face. Okay. I use Elgot to attack the side. The side? Okay. Then the effect of uh, the book, the yep. gauge one, you gain all oh, in a life. Oh, sorry, just now my. This enters as well, so I gain one life. Pay attention. Mm, sorry. I attack you for three center. Okay, I'll take that. And I'll take it for two center take that. Your move, stand and draw. <coughs> draw. Cast. Okay. Under and subtract. Okay. Engage and ally. <coughs> Search for my weapon. Which weapon? Okay. Uh, dragon sword. <coughs> Drag cross. <coughs> Red cross. Equip. I'm driving through Red cross. I call. Power bus. Body call. Right. Effect. What effect? Oh no! <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> what effect? That was a surprise. <clears throat> Never mind. I call Black Dragon now. Okay. I enter the battle phase. Okay. I do it. Gratos effect. What's the effect? So I can choose a monster on your field, and I can send so equal up 
equal or more than the size, right? Then you can destroy the card. So you can destroy this for free, then? No. Then you minimally send pay one. Oh. So, I send one, destroy now. No, now. Feel so now. Then I send one more, destroy this. Oh, no. My. <coughs> Yeah, then the book of uh, the book effect. Since I destroy monster, and you can charge and you gain one life. So I'll uh, go into battle phase. Okay. I go butt attack central. Okay. okay. So guard. Attack. Go butt attack the central. So guard. Go out dragon sword attack the central. So guard. Go out dragon sword attack the central. And that. So I've done four attacks this turn. Okay. Butt attack link. All right. We got the top three cards. Add one of them to my hand and put the rest into the cage. I will add. Hmm. Game one one. Okay, you go. Yes, I'll end my turn. You pay so point using my over turn. Okay, my turn? Yep, you draw. Charge and I go. First things first, I cast Black Ritual. Okay, I destroy it. I'm gone. Begin life. Gage one, and draw two cards. Wow. Not pretty really broken. Next, I cast Banquet of the Unrighteous. Okay. So I, look, I use the second effect, so I look at the top three cards on my deck, and I add a monster to my hand. I add wow. Death Talica to my hand. Death and the rest of the drop zone. I call a game. Same, same thing since it's my body, I can book up to 5 souls. Okay. And, then, and since this is a deep, and it enters the soul of another deep, uh, since it enters the soul of a deep, you can gain 1 life. Okay. I move on to my battle phase. Okay. I use Elgot and Belzegret to link attack on Bats. Bats dies. <coughs> if I open the book, okay. I get 1, and I gain a life. 3 damage to center. Okay. Your move. Okay. Draw. Charge and draw. I call to the center. Okay. I call. Vagrant Dragon Semi Maru. Hold on. When you declare the call, I'll okay. activate Kratos effect, destroy Globs. Oh no. <coughs> and then. So I'll I use. Yeah. Effect. I will use the effect of Vagrant Dragon to charge one gauge. Then use Vagrant effect. Okay. To bounce. To bounce this. So we got. Okay, we're going to battle phase. Uh uh. I do it battle effect, destroy. Ouch. <coughs> you attack El God. Attack El God? Yo. Cut in hand. Two. <coughs> Two. Charge and draw. I call uh, a Pipe's Knight Brigade. Okay. Pale Riders. So, in fact, when he enters the boy, I can remove a soul from a uh, Black Knight or 100 Demons okay. and pay one life. And okay. I can draw two cards. Oh no. Cut in hand is two, right? Two, yep. Let's end this game. Nice. I set Death Gauge Timer. Yes, that card at the end of the game. I put 5 cards to the soul. Okay. Then, effect of uh, Execution Ground, I can charge and draw. This Death Gage Timer is. Uh, Black, Black, uh, Black Dragon. Okay. I set again. Death Gage Timer. Whoa. So I put another 5 cards. How much that? One. Now. I have two cards left in there. Whoa, Whoa. you like to live life dangerously. Okay, now I call to the center. Uh, oh, Death no. Talica. So Death there, call cost. I put uh, I can I can put as many deep from the field as I want. So I put two death gauge timers on the soul. Okay. Mm. And pay three gauge. The night no. Then I I'll let the rest go to the job zone. Whoa. Painful. So I have, I call it slap. Like, not see. 
Hmm. I re equip Book of the Evil Avesta. No. Now I go on to my battle phase. Okay. I attack you for two since you have no monsters on the board. Take that. I attack you for one. Take that. I use Death Telecard to attack. Two. I will reduce it by three. You okay. had your turn? No, I use activate Death Telecard skill. What skill is that? So I can send back four deep. During your turn, you put four deep from your drop zone to the bottom. If you do stand this card. Yes. What? Is this what happened? Nope. So my and my drop zone is pretty stacked with deep cards. So I send back four. I take again for two. Okay. Mm. So here's the deck profile for Paddy's greatest cheese. Uh, pun intended. So uh, four copies of Delberg. Delberg is a very very good card in the Black Knight set because it is a Black Knight itself and it allows you to get free cards into your hand and also fills up the drop zone for the cost for Gratos which is to send cards from the drop zone into the soul. So basically it's a must play at 4 and it's a, overall a very good card in any Black Dragon. I mean any Dragon, Darkness Dragon deck. Yeah. Uh, 4 copies of the boss monster, Gratos. Um, so Benny, why, why do you choose Gratos over most of the Darkness Dragon world? It's very hipster I say and it's actually really, really good in controlling. Why is it good? Because actually no, I just play Gotos because it looks cool. Yeah, it looks yeah, damn cool. It actually looks one of the coolest units and um, I'm really glad that you actually got a lot of uh, support from the re the previous few sets. Uh, you can see that they have stuff like Pale Riders which actually greatly supports the Black Knight's deck and 100 Demons deck. It is one of the greatest 100 Demons to date and it's actually one of the few more playable 100 Demons. Right? <laughs> yeah, so a great card. So, its ability is basically so blasting cards uh, equals to the amount of size of the monster. <laughs> So uh, this meta is a lot of uh, Thunder Empire cards. So most of the time you want to use Gratos to snipe off their advantage engine. For example, stuff like Globes and the Ninja, which allows you to fetch more cards to your hand. You basically, when they declare core, you snipe away the Globes or the monster. They won't be able to activate those abilities, which makes it a very, very, very powerful control cards. And of course, um, with Gratos five so easily five so because of the ability of its body ability, uh, you will be able to get uh, a very thick center, so the opponent won't be able to beat you and finish you off. And as previously seen, you can see that Paddy has managed to get a lot of life through the abilities, comboing the abilities such as this and uh, the Book of Life, we call it, uh, allowing you to gain your high life so you can escape a lot of danger. So yeah, it's a great card. So two copies of uh, another version of Gratos. It's a size 3, so it's slightly different. Um, this card allows you to destroy stuff equals to the amount of crit. So basically, for example, let's say your opponent is playing a one crit weapon, you can just so blast one card to destroy the weapon. Uh, very good because it, it, it allows you to destroy uh, items on the field as well. So for example, the Oruji Gratos does not allow you to destroy items. So it's uh, two copies you of You can also cards. combo mm. this with uh, Gamma. Mm. Reduce the crit of the monster, then after that you snipe it off. Wow, crit combo. So yeah, you combo this. For example, you have a opponent have a, side, uh, a great a three crit monster, you can just use Gamma, reduce it to zero, and it becomes like pretty much one soul blast to destroy. Uh, very good against Dragon Zoid, right? Yeah, very good. Yeah, excellent against Dragon Zoid because you just mix your their ex, the extra dimension become a zero crit, and then you just so blast them off, then they just end their turn. Uh, one copy of this Gatos. Why do you play Zanjiro Gatos? Oh, because uh, it's good against uh, Chaos, mm -hmm. and he has a double attack. Oh yes, yes, yeah, double and, attack. And, and and he has a very weak defense because it's, I think it's seven K, right? Oh, 5k. Oh, 5k. Then, mm. uh, whoops. Then, uh, with the Rebel's armor, it becomes 6k. So, it's actually quite, mm, quite can, tanky. Uh, thank you, quite a bit of attack. Yeah, it's a great card because it has double attack. Uh, one of the things that Gratos really needs, and and of course, you can just pop off stuff without having any conditions. So, you just so blast one to destroy any monster on your bonus field. So, it's yeah. a very good card. One co tagging copy. Uh, two copies of What's This? Death Tiger. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I actually seen you playing this card. Why do you play this card in the deck? Uh, because the. Actually, all Gratos are deep. And then most of the deck consists of deep, so you can easily get Death Egg attacking like five times. Yeah, like just now I saw you, I think you were able to do at six attacks, right? Just yeah, now. about six. I think, yeah, yeah because my, uh, my, almost my whole deck was inside the drop zone. Correct. The deck ac accelerates really, really fast because of the brand new cards like uh, Chaos Pain, which allows you to dump stuff in the drop zone. And also this card, which allows you to drop stuff in the drop yeah. zone. So uh, basically, the, the main winning image of this deck is to tank and control the bot, and when the right time comes, come on this Death Egg card and finish, finish the game. So ability is basically when during your turn you may put four deep monsters from your drop zone into the bottom of the deck if you do resend this card. So it's not once per turn, you can resend up to six times. So fantastic card, especially late game. Well planned attack. Uh, two cop four copies, three. sorry, three. <laughs> three copies of Beldazard. 
a belt of guard. Yeah. So uh, uh, pay two gauge, you basically fetch any uh, two cards, two black knights from your deck into your drop zone and your hand. So basically, for example, you want to set up your drop zone with stuff like the rebel's armor or this guy. This allows gain some more life. And of course, add another card to your hand. So let's say you need to get Gratos, you can fetch Gratos to your hand. You need Delbrook, you can always get it back to your hand. So it's a very, very good card. And it's two gauge cards is justifiable for such an amazing ability. Uh, two copies of Abigail because it is uh, this is that kind of dumb stuff in drop zone, so you can use it as a negate. Yeah. Uh, three copies of Gunmar. This uh, combos really well with, uh, as previously mentioned, the Gratos, the size 3 Gratos. And three copies of Pale Rider. Pale Rider's ability is when this card enters the field, you may select 100 demons or black knight on the field and remove one soul from it. You do and pay on life, and you can draw two cards. So it's basically draw any for the deck. Really good because, uh, as you guys know, Gratos is a lot of soul, so fantastic. And of course, you can also combo it with um, Death Gauge Timer, which doesn't matter for you. You usually use Death Gauge Timer as food for this Gratos Soul or Death Terra Soul. So you basically removing your Soul for it is actually not so bad. And sometimes you can also sabotage the Soul so that your opponent will lose all their gauge if you are if you plan it really well. So it's a very, very good card uh, in this deck. And it's a Black Knight, so you can fuel it for Gratos Soul. Uh, three copies of um, El God one of the greatest meta cards right now because of the fact that Bart is running rampant so put it in front of Bart so Bart won't be able to have a double attack but of course they can still activate the overturn ability which is not a problem most importantly it gets rid of Bart's ability to nullify destruction so your Gratos can just snipe it off so yeah very good card and it also combos really well with execution ground which allows you to get a free charge and draw now for spells we play four copies of um, Chaos Pain, Chaotic Pain. So Paddy, why do you decide to play? I think you're the first player to actually seen playing this card. Uh, because it's gauge Excel and uh, it's a mill for Gratos. Uh. So it's like something like Excel, uh, but it, gets, it gives you more gauge right. instead. So yeah, in this gauge, uh, this deck, the gauge, the gauge use is quite heavy. Mm. You want to uh, charge as much gauge as you can. So how, how do you think that this card actually uh, gives Gratos a lot more playability now? Yeah, I think you can usually use it in a Death Delica deck uh, if you yeah. still want that. And yeah. it's really perfect for any uh, deep deck because he has a deep attribute in it. So wow, perfect! It's like they knew. It's like they wanted to give deep the proper support, and this is really good because more sun drasol means more power. Uh, three copies of a Banco for the unrighteous. Uh, more uh, mill cards. Send cards to the top three of the deck in the drop zone. Add one monster to your hand, so you can add any Gratos or any of these cards. All of these monster cards are amazing in this deck. They are never a dead draw. Maybe you don't really want to draw every year, but. Well, you can always send it to the drop zone. So fetch three cards, and also you can pump soul into Gratos to give it more ammo to shoot stuff and destroy. So great card. Yep. Yes, dual world is so yes, two choices. All right, uh, two copies of Black Ritual. Uh, we play quite a lot of Black Dragon, Black Dragon attribute cards in this deck. For example, El God. Um, uh, this card. Oh, all these set spells are Black Dragons, so it's a pre life card. It's just a free draw power and free life gain. Uh, this is a monster card. Um, we put this card together because these are two cards that you want to send to the drop zone. By setting up your... The main winning image of this deck is to set up these two cards into the drop zone. Then you can uh, retrieve Gratos to get up your abilities. This card is when this card enters the field or drop zone from... Into a monster soul, you can gain one life. So as you can see, Gratos keep dying and keep driving itself. You can keep cycling and gain free life. It's like a free body call every single time you call Gratos, which is awesome. And one copy of Rebel's Armor. This card is really, really good. Put this kind of soul of a deep monster on the field, so you could put in Death Terica or Gratos, but both deep monsters. The deep monster with this kind of soul get plus 1k attack power, 1k defense power, and penetrate. So giving Gratos penetrate sometimes is very useful, especially since it's, it might be a little bit slow to uh, finish off the opponent, you can also just gain penetrate to clear faster, especially against soul guard monsters. Then the abilities of this card in the soul cannot be nullified. So uh, this card is this deck is not even affected by Star of Justice at all, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, Maybe. correct. So, it is a very, very good card. Because Star of Justice energy, I won't be able to affect Gratos at all because of how good this card is. And you can just Soul Blast two times and energy just dies. Alright, so uh, more set spells. Uh, we play, the number of sets we play is 9. Uh, perfect balance. 3 copies of Death Gauge Timer. It is a Black Knight, it's a Black Dragon, it is a Deep Attribute, it is everything you ever wanted. It is a... 5 Attribute. 6. 5. 6. Okay, 100. 6 Attribute card. Well, it is a 6 attribute. I think it's one of the most attributes in the game right now. Yeah, yeah. 6 attribute. So play it's a uh, you can play, You can play Mandrill if you're very sick. One card does feel 6 and then end of the world. Uh, cast cost, 
you put the top 5 cards of your deck into your discard, uh, soul. So you gain 5 soul. It's that spell at the beginning of your battle phase, each battle phase, so your opponents and your battle phase. Put one of those soul into your gauge. So it's a free gauge timer. Free gauge charger, sorry. At the end of the turn, if there are no cards in this card soul, at the end of the turn, so your turn or your opponent's turn, you might send all cards from the fighter's gauge into the drop zone, both yours and opponent's. So, um, for I mentioned, with this card, you can uh, sabotage your opponent have a lot of soul. You can just suddenly call it. You just burn all the soul. Gauge. Or burn all the gauge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, burn all the gauge. So, it is a strategic card and a free resource card. Uh, three copies of this is because it... Um, a lot of black dragons in the meta and a lot of cards is affected by this. You can rest stuff so it's defensive and uh, destructive of obstructive whatever you call it. Two copies of um, Execution Ground because you could play Elgods, Gods, you play Death Delica, you can it's also black dragon so you can get free stuff. Yeah but mainly to protect your set spells. Mm, yeah. Set spells and of course uh Death Timer you can also charge because it's a black dragon on your field. Uh, one copy of these uh, prevents penetrate over above three and uh, you, whenever your monster attack, you can charge one gauge. Yeah. The first attack. Yeah. Okay. So it's good. Uh, weapons, we play three copies of the book. Evil Avestra. Avesta is a very, very good um, good weapon in this deck because you play a lot of gauge, such as gauge to pay for resting or your Gratos. Gratos casts three gauge. So uh, since you'll be able to destroy a lot of stuff, even during your opponent's turn with Gratos, you get a free gauge and life every single time. And it's a two crit weapon when your opponent has no monsters, which is, which is good. And why do you play Gratos? Because um, Gratos' ability is pretty interesting. It's one of the few unique abilities in this game. Uh, pay 3 gauge and put up the 3 black knights from your drop zone into this card. So then if your opponent, if this card is your buddy monster, put additional 2 cards in the, the soul. So it's a total of 5 cards in the soul. It is very, very powerful. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy uh, the deck profile on Paddy's uh, black knight deck, black great cheese deck. So yeah, uh, be sure to add me on Facebook and subscribe to my channel. Peace out and love guys.